This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon. I am Ola Jumokil Latanji. A plan that would enable peacekeepers in Somalia to start liberating regions still held, still being held by Al Shabaab, has been approved by the African Union Peace and Security Council. Blueprint for the plan, called Concept of Operations or Corn Ups, will enable the African Union mission in Somali to begin flushing out Al Shabaab remnants from Middle Juba beginning in the new year. Amazon will collaborate with Jubaland State Forces and the Somali National Army. CONOPS will guide Amazon operations for two years until 2021. Although Al Shabaab has been driven out of most parts of the country, it still controls Middle Juba. The CONOPS documents will have to be approved by AU and senior officials of Kenya, Burundi, Uganda, Ethiopia, and Djibouti, countries that contribute trips to Amazon. A sugar project gently owned by the Ugandan government's community members and a private investor in the north of the country has been raised by many fires in three days. 600 acres of mature sugarcane are reported to have been destroyed in the fires that are suspected to be caused by arson. Finance Minister Matia Kasaya has visited the site and toured other developments at a Tiak sugar project in an effort to find solutions and calm freight nerves. During a meeting with area leaders, farmers and investors, the minister appealed for calm in the area, which had been formerly ravaged by war. Several concerns were raised by the community and investors, including insecurity from neighboring South Sudan and some police and discipline in the area. The conservative uh, fires have destroyed more than two billion shillings worth of sugarcane seed crop. We'll return after this message. Stay with us. Super Outlook MTN gives 2000% bonus for reactivating your MTN sale. That's right. If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right, 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. Almost 3,500 goats and sheep have died as a result of what Burundian authorities call a sheep and goat plague. Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, says the plague is a highly contagious animal disease that affects small animals. Fire says the disease can infect a whole herd and kill up to two-thirds of infected animals. Some of the goats killed were among the 5,500 the government had distributed to farmers in a project financed by the World Bank. Some of the dead goats were imported, prompting fire to assume a possible breach in vaccination shutters in Burundi. Fire and World Bank experts say they would not rule out the presence of the disease in Burundi before the big outbreak. That's the ANN News Brief. Thanks for watching. For details on this and other stories, visit the website ANNAfrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV, Instagram and Twitter at ANNAfricaTV. I am Olajimoki Olatiji.